Here we go. Kavon J and welcome to another episode of 901 All Access, your backstage pass to the city. And today we are at Fannie Lou's Gourmet Chicken and Waffles. And today, y'all, I got my brother in the building. Hmm. 
I've been knowing this man. <laughs> I don't even want to embarrass myself and try to think back that far. But Superman. What's up, man? Is in the building. It's good to be with you, man. Good for you to come, Sue. Beautiful day. I, beautiful day outside. Couldn't today. ask for a better one downtown Memphis. Right, and I want to thank you for turning me on to this spot because I had no idea. Oh yeah. That this was here. Fanny Lou's gourmet chicken and waffles, black on, excellent, and we're gonna. Oh yeah, we're gonna dig into some food today. We so, got to. so first of all, Sue, thanks, man, for coming by. Yeah, Thank thanks you for, for asking me. And um, second of all, kind of tell people about Superman. Man. Uh, born and raised here, uh, South Memphis, Alsea South Parkway College in Macklemore. That's where I've resided since I've been here. Um, high school here, all that. Lamont on College. Um, been DJing on the radio since 2000. Uh, this is my 22nd year. Wow. In radio, yeah, I've been 20 sec two years, man, 22 years in radio. One radio station. One radio station. Wow. So what, so let me ask you this, because I know you call yourself the Marvin Gaye DJ. Yes, sir. Where did that come from? Man, it's crazy you ask that. Um, I was out of town, actually, DJing. I was in California. This is like around 2003. And I got a chance to meet Larkin Arnold. Larkin Arnold was, at that time, back in the 80s, the senior VP for Columbia Records. Okay. And he's the guy that went over to Austin, Belgium, to get Marvin Gaye out of exile. Marvin Gaye left the States like 79, 80 to avoid paying IRS. You know, right, right, I remember stuff. that, I remember that, right. You know, he's gone bankrupt, lost right. the studio. Long story short, I met Larkin Arnold and some other people that was involved with Motown and all that. Uh, went to the house that he was, um, actually, today is his birthday. It's crazy we're talking about yeah, that's that. Right. That's today right. is Marvin Gaye's birthday, right. April 2nd. Right. Uh, long story short, met a lot of people, and I was out there DJing. I was playing a bunch of Marvin Gaye, blending it, mixing it, and they said, man, you the Marvin Gaye DJs. This was claimed and given to me in California. Now, how long How long ago was that? 2003. Wow. Yeah, 2000. And I, you know what? I, n I never knew that. I know the, the Marvin Gaye did. And, and I said, I said, my ass suit. You know, That's how that all happened. That's what that happened. And I brought it back to Memphis and uh, used it, molded it, built it. And it's become my moniker, or you say my nickname along with Superman. Right. That people know me for. Because, you know, I play a lot of smooth music. Right. I play whatever it's out for today due yeah. to the fact that I am a hip hop radio personality. Right. But my music range is so wide, I just play so much. And you know, first off, gotta get shot to stack. Gotta represent stacks. Because I was raised on college in Macklemore before right. we moved to Alpha. So just the whole gamut of music that I've been collecting. My father left me so much music, uh cousin and uncle I have that's a jazz musician. Um I've been music music has been a tapestry of my life for years. So what did you what did you graduate from? Lemoyne, Memphis Catholic High School. Did you do any DJing when you was in high school? I'm sure you did some in college, but were you doing any DJing while you was in high school? Uh, vaguely. Okay. Yeah. So how did you, where did the radio part come from? Like what did you get into the radio part? How did you get into radio itself? That's crazy you asked that. Um, my father passed away in 1995. Mm. And before he left, he blessed me with so many albums and 45s. And, um, I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to be a DJ. Right. And I met Boogaloo, Just Born, Boogaloo, Howard, uh, Devin. I had known Devin because he went to Central with my uh, god brother. So all of us knew each other doing different things. Uh, we were carrying actual records at the time, vinyl. Actual records. Real records. Young people Google it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, you, you messed me up with that one. And so I just started collecting um, the Lemoyne on College Library uh, used to also have all these old records that they weren't keeping. Right. And they let me go into the vault in the library downstairs. Mm -hmm. And I was getting all these white label records. Now, white label records are test pressings that a label would put out and distribute for a radio station to play or a DJ to basically run and get some type of promotional feedback of the song before they put it out on a major, on the on the actual label right. that it's on. Okay. So, um, 
so I was getting all this Lonnie Liston Smith, Donald Byrd, Roy Ayers, uh, a lot of disco records that right. were hard to find. Right. Uh, to, to, to the naked eye of a regular person, probably wouldn't have picked up if they had an opportunity to get it. Right. Right. Commodity, won't you come bother me? Cause I really, really need love. Maybe I just want a piece of. Feel like you got a hold on me. Smoke me out before you run with me. Hey, when this in your bin, it's gotta be consistent. I ain't trying to be low key. That's mine. That's me. I get it. Did it be ever trying to scheme on me? On me. Why lie? Know what I mean? Lay it all down when I pull up, we gon' see, but I'll be there on the weekend. We can skate to the east there. Baby, come take a swim with me. I'ma be on the deep end. I'll be there on the weekend. Long as we still speaking. I'ma be like your best friend. Call me when you need me. I'll be there. Tasha, Tasha. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll be there. 15 minutes. All right. Yo, fellas. Let's get to the beach. He on the way. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Driven by music and yeah. tea. You killing them? You killing them? Yeah. You killing them? Yeah. Look, I know they talking about you. That's what they gon' do. Yeah. It's a murder every time that you step in the room. Yeah. Yeah. That means you killing the scene. Should be on the news. Yeah. Look, words cannot define you cause you're a homo Every time I think I'm about to leave, I keep coming back like a boomerang I'm a junkie for it, I admit it, who you got the magic, she my Dr. Strange I don't understand it, tell me how you do it, heating up in the winter time Let me get a refill of your love, put it on my plate, it's dinner time I already said let's go, I can never find another woman like you I think you've been in my dreams, cause this feels like deja vu It's like all the things you do you checked all the marks for me Oh yeah, this must be a drug Because this feels like ecstasy Yeah, yeah Look, I know 
know they talking about you, that's what they gon' do. Yeah. It's a murder every time that you step in no room. Yeah. That means you killing the scene, should be on the news. Be on the news. Words can't not define you, cause you're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. Words can't not define you, cause you're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Words can't yeah. not define you, cause you're a whole mood. I can't even pay attention in my Zoom meetings, cause you always on my mind. My whole life changed when you came in, ooh, worth the genuine. When I get a Della Chester, hit it, knock it out the park, Sammy Salsa. I love the way you hold me down, cause life can be a roller coaster, yeah. Sorry, not sorry, you the baddest shoddy. Behave, independent woman, she don't give no leeway. Going hard in the paint, just like D Way. Trying to get back to you, speeding on the freeway. Cause you know that we about to get loose. For my eyes only won't leave no proof. A lie, don't care who telling you the truth, yeah. Yeah, look, I know they talking about you, that's what they gon' do. Yeah. It's a murder every time that you step in the room. Yeah. That means you killing the scene, should be on the news. Be on the news. Words can't not define you, cause you're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. Yeah. Words can't not define you, cause you're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. You're a whole mood. Yeah. Alright, y'all, we back as your man, Kavon J901, all access. <laughs> I got my brother Superman in the building. We are yes, at Fatty Lou's Gourmet Chicken and Waffles. Mm. We got some food ordered. You know we're going to show y'all what we got. Scrumptious. Oh, my gosh. But, <laughs> Superman, let's get back into it, man. And uh, let's talk about your influences when you came up in this DJ game. Well, first, uh, the guys that I always was looking up to was on in an early phase before I even got equipment, recipes, Chief Rocker Sonny D. Woo, Sonny D. And shout out to my guy, DJ Spanish Fly. Spanish Fly. Now that's another story. Yeah. Spanish Fly. <laughs> man, shout out to Spanish Fly because he's still out here doing his thing. Still doing his thing. He's love you, Fly. Thing. Man, love you, Fly. Uh, both of those guys took me under their wings. Mm. Uh, Sonny D would come to the house, to my house, and share music, school me on music, give me some records, files, whatever like that, talk to me. He was actually one of the first DJs to have a mix show on the radio in Memphis. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Sonny D's House Express. He was playing house music. You know, back then the ear was so trained to hearing different things in Memphis right. because hip hop was a growing genre. True. Because we are about blues, soul, funk. Right. And you had another different line of music, house music, that was popular at that time. Long story short, I used to record all those mixes. Mm -hmm. And I used to record Spanish Fly, he used to mix too. And he would actually share records with me, mm. for real. I had to check them out like a library. I'd write down on a piece of paper what records I was gonna get, when I was gonna right. bring them back. But he entrusted me with his collection. Schooled me on that, just took me under his wing. Also, rest in peace, uh, Love Man Rick Wagner. Hey, absolutely. Uh, Love Man Rick Wagner also was a teacher and influence at 88.5 yes. back in the day. Yes, and, and he also was on 103.5 as well. And he was on Magic 101 yes. back in the day. Right. One of my major influences, uh, my fraternity brother, Disco Hound. Uh, Melvin Cook and Jones, Woo. Uh, Bobby OJ back in the, I mean Herb like, Decay. Herb Decay, Jimmy Smith. People don't even know that uh, those guys. Stan Bell. Can't forget Stan the Man Bell. Stan the Man, Mo what up Powell Stan? Powell and Adura say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Stan you know, Bell. All those guys really took me under their wing because they saw I had the interest. I was putting in the work, you know, like people love to see you put in the work. Right. And I was investing in my craft. And so those guys in Memphis, I got to give influence uh, accolades to. Also, my neighbor it was DJ Spider-Man. Really? Got to give a shout out to him. We what grew up in the Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yes. We grew up in the same neighborhood as 
Uh oh. Yeah. This, this. Know about my mind that. and my heart. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we live. This we how are we do it. Very live. Yeah, yeah. Um, Spider Man grew up around the corner from me in Prospect Park. He had turntables before I did. Wow. I used to walk around the corner to his house with a crate or two of records or whatever like that. We hang out, spin, and all that. Spider Man also was one of my brothers in the DJ game right. coming up at, now we're in junior high, high school right. at this time. We talk about mid 80s, uh, about like 85, 86, and then like 86, 87, I started tinkering around and DJing. I had a Radio Shack mixer. Remember how long I'm joking? About long as the table. Yep. Okay. They had two of them. They had one that didn't have a crossfader. Right. And I think the small one had the crossfader, but I had, the, I had that long. Mine yeah. didn't have a crossfader. Mine had a crossfader. Mine didn't. But check it out. I had one turntable and a dual cassette player. <laughs> Rocking it. I had the record ready. I had a cassette queued up because you could put the headphone jack right. in the cassette player. Uh, I had a Technique dual one, cassette player. One, you had one turntable. And a turntable. Then later on, managed to get another makeshift turntable. Um... DJed a little bit in college for fraternity parties. Right. Omega Sci Fi Roof. Uh, had to do that. I, I don't know, Sue. <laughs> um, but I didn't do a lot of those because we would hire like DJ Jackson Brown. He's another Man, influence. Shout out to Jackson Brown. Yes, Jackson absolutely. Brown. Oh my God. He would do a lot of our parties. Uh, shout out to my guy, uh, Andre Cash Money. Cash Money, yes. Um, this is the time in the early 90s where music was changing and Just Born was doing a lot of our parties. Right. Howard Q was doing a lot of parties. Devin was at uh, Martin and coming back and forth. He was you know, doing parties. It's right. just like the gamut of us, how I got with that crew is what brought me into the fold getting into radio. Right. Um, Boogaloo also used to take me under his wings. I used to DJ at Hawaiian Isle while I was in college. Right there on Bellevue, where Elvis Presley turns into Bellevue. Right. It's DJ in Hawaiian now. Um, that's where I learned to DJ for grown people. Because I could play rap all night. I had to play R and B, blues, C soul. Now, and and here, let me trip you out. Yo, you know ahead. the rap that was popular at that time? What? No Limit was killing the game. Cash money had come out. Uh, I never get. I got so tired of playing. I like this, but I got tired of it. Uh, Black Street, no diggity. <laughs> oh uh, what was that other song? <laughs> the dip. You know, booty music was popular. Come on, ride that train. Right. You know, right. all, all that. that. And if you didn't have those records, that's an oh. Now record stores, I forgot one. Who? Musiquarium. Musiquarium oh. was on Winchester, right as you were going towards the airport. Yes. And I was on the East Coast a lot traveling, going out of town to Howard Homecoming. Right. I was going to the tunnel, seeing Funkmaster Flex. You know, I, I loved East Coast hip hop and right. West Coast rap. Right. But East Coast just had my heart at the time. Memphis, we were still developing That's true. our brand, That's our true. style. You had 3 6, Skinny Pimp, right. Tommy Wright the Third, Al Capone. The list goes on and yeah, on. You had uh, uh, Mr. N. Yeah, now that's not that's too much to turn the century. Yeah, yeah, you know, he was because he came with the ruins and all with those. Eight ball, MJG. Right, right. So long play story a fly. short, play a fly. Can't forget Flizzy, Gangsta Black, GB. Gang, I was just finished. Yeah, Gangsta so Black. Yeah. When I was Gangsta Pat, go ahead. The first rapper in Memphis, Gangsta Pat. Gangsta Pat. First Shout rapper in Memphis signed to a major label. Shout out to Gangsta Pat Patrick. What up, man? Uh, so, I was so East Coast driven. Boogaloo and Just Born, I'll never forget. They took me to Music Corner and they said, look, if you're gonna DJ in Memphis, you're gonna need these records right. as templates to move and motivate and go into the party. Set it off, strafe. You know, back then everybody was line dancing. You had right. uh, the electric slide, right. the bus stop. Then here come the Chinese checkers and the cha-cha slide and stomp, all that. Oh, my God. I still got on the record, man. And so they took me under, my wing, under their wings and shit, said, excuse me, you got to have these records right. in your crate. 
and then build with that what was going on in Poplar now. Oh my God, fool. Come on with it. Oh, oh, that ain't out. Oh, hey, bring that by the camera. Bring that by the camera. camera. Bring that by and the tell, camera. Tell, tell uh, 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 uh. You got to bend down and tell people. What, what, what is it? though? Gosh. Chicken Look at that. Mm, mm, the mm. chicken nacho. I have okay. to show restraint. It, ooh, my God. Right now. Man, the news, y'all. The chicken nacho. Ooh. All right, y'all, we back. And, uh, oh, I'm gonna wait till this is over with. <laughs> Cause if I do this on screen, y'all gonna go. That's fine, sir. No pork. No pork. I'll take that, sir. Thank you. So Sue, kind of tell, we finna get ready to get out of here. Before we get into this Memphis Classic though, so kind of tell everybody where they can find you, all that good stuff. Okay, uh, I'm on Hot 1071. Been there for 22 years. Shout out to them. Thank you for all the love and the support allowing me to branch my talent out, not only just locally, but globally. I produce the Morning Hustle. That's a syndicated morning show from Atlanta. Uh, Head Crack, L'Oreal. Also, I'm on Midday, 10 to 3. I do an old school mix. Live, noon to one, the best in town. <laughs> <laughs> this is my guy right here. This is my, this my guy. guy. Hey, we always TV each Man, show. all the time. We this is my brother for real. Right, uh, I do that. I'm also at Mahogany every other, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm at Mahogany every other Wednesday. I have the dinner party, the original dinner party. So people trying to snatch that you know how they do but it's all right. good it's, all it's good. a compliment that's flattering yeah instagram uh at dj superman 901 um dad um traveling uh he doing it all <laughs> so uh we finna get into a memphis classic and uh man we'll see y'all next time thank you all make Love sure y'all make sure y'all go to that 901 all access on youtube and instagram get at us all right it's your man Kavanje. we out peace